So Billy, a 5-0 win over Nossel today. It was only 1-0 for um, until the 74th minute. What's your thoughts on today's victory? Yeah, I thought it, you know, we took a while to grind them down after a, a really difficult week for us. You know, we, we were still really the disappointment of Tuesday night. Uh, you know, and that puts pressure on you, puts pressure on me, puts pressure on the team to, to perform. And so we've come and to be fair, you know, probably one of the best playing surfaces in the league at this moment in time. It's in brilliant condition, they've done really, really well with it. I think um, you know, lots of credit to them. It's probably their downfall because obviously they've had a single game called off yet, so no midweek games. But I thought in the end we stuck to our task and, and we, we ground out the result. Um, you know, and the clean sheet's just as important as the five goals. Yeah. We took the lead in the uh, tenth minute, Andy Mill scrambling home there, Jonathan Green in corner. What were your thoughts on Milnes and Greg Potts at the back today? Because they looked to be solid. Yeah, well, I mean, they, they, they sort of went with one up top and with players trying to get in and around him when he got, got on the ball. But, you know, we know what we've got with Greg and Andy. Um, Andy's been absolutely brilliant since he come back in for, for Efi when Efi got injured. And, you know, he's come in and he's done, he's done exceptionally well for us alongside Greg. And what they do is, you know, you put the two full-backs in and that. Jay slotted in for us today and did really, really well for us. Clates at left backs done really well again against a, a tricky fast winger who were playing Evo. He's played 34 games in the Evo. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it, it, for, for us to, to not concede and, and Gaddy, when he were called upon, once from Jimmy Beagle's head up. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And then sort of towards the end there, I think it was brilliant. The clean sheets, as important to them as the five goals are to the forwards. Absolutely. Um, we didn't get the second goal, like I said, until the 74th minute. Mm -hmm. Nick Black did get it, though. He got on a score sheet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good to see Blackie amongst the goals again. No, absolutely. And, and then later on, Cal Stewart as well. And we always send Cal shoot when you get it. Don't be, you know, be greedy, be aggressive, be, you know, and what we'd asked them to do was we'd go and press us iron up the pitch. And, and, and I thought, Certainly, Nick did it a, a bit for us during the game, but Carl was exceptional at him when he came on. Um, so, no, but no, great to see Nick on the on the score sheet, and it was a great finish as well. Really good finish. Yeah, at this point, the goal started to flow a bit more. Mm -hmm. Adam Baker also came on, did um, mm -hmm. did brilliant to pick up Josh Greenham for his first goal with a, a yeah. header, believe it or not, another header. <laughs> another header, yeah, no, it was a brilliant header as well. To be fair to the lad, um, exceptional header, um, and and Baker as well injected a, a, a bit of enthusiasm into us and. and and got us in behind, and the first time we actually got in behind was, you know, the cross and the finish were absolutely exceptional. And I think the finish matched the quality of the cross. And Adam, you know, he's great for us, Adam, he's a brilliant kid. Um, it looked like he's kind of game today, didn't it? Yeah, I think it, it, sometimes it, it's hard with Adam, I've just been chatting to him now about it. It's, it's using him and using him at the right time because once he's on it, he's exceptional, mm -hmm. absolutely exceptional. Um, and, and the, Delivery was absolutely outstanding mm -hmm. for Josh's. Yeah, you just mentioned him, but then Carl Stewart took mm -hmm. Matt into his own hands with um, a stunning solo goal, isn't it? Well, uh, he's on board without Carl that time. Sometimes he needs a bit more credit. Than, uh, <laughs> he, he's, as soon as he hits it, it's gone and it flew in from 25 yards out. You see what it means to the team, I think, every single player. I want to congratulate him. Um, he's got a big charity night next week when you know, he's going to box next week for charity, which he's trained really, really hard for it. Um, so to see him on the on the score sheet, and then he he runs away and he's telling everyone it's come off his shin. <laughs> and I, I just took the credit for it. Um, but yeah, great finish from Crown, great to see him on the score sheet. Yeah, we then made it five in the last minute. Baker again mm -hmm. picking out Josh Green. It's another mm -hmm. another brilliant goal, isn't it? No, well, the, when they combined and they're on fire, they, they, you know, once they got going, it, it was a great finish and it was a brilliant ball from Adam. So it, it topped off a. A, a, a sticky performance early on, but mm -hmm. performance but kept us in the game, and then eventually, I think you know we, we ran out worthy winners in the end, and I think the five goals will do us a world of good after certainly after you know I keep going back to Tuesday night, but a bit of a blip for us, but we'll, we'll move on as quick as we can. Um, you must be delighted with uh, how much impact the substitutions had today with uh, Baker and Cal mm -hmm. coming on. Did they really did inject some. Yeah, yeah. It might have been due to Nostal tiring yeah, yeah. but they really did. Well, well today. if we're gonna win it. If, and or are going to be around it for the next sort of 10 games. We, I think the squad is so, so important. The 16 players in the squad are really important. I keep saying that to them. You know, we, we've got a mentality in this country that if, you, if you're not starting, it's a bit of a kick in the teeth. And I get that because of the nature of our makeup and that. But having played abroad in Europe a couple of times, it's, it's, it's a different kettle of fish over there. They tend to accept that it's about the squad. And I keep telling the subs that. And I keep telling them that they'll get there. Their moment and they have their impact and 
you know, Connor Sellers has got into the side on a couple of good performances off the bench and it just didn't happen for him today and the lad who comes on to replace him, Baker's had a storm on, mm. um, not quite happening for Jimmy today and, and Carl's come on and done his bit. So I think that's really, really important that, you know, the squad needs to be strong, it, it needs to be the right people at the right time and if we can get that right, that will be just as important as the 11 on the pitch. Uh, George Conway and obviously Nick Thompson on Tuesday have come back yeah. to the club. We need the entire entirety of our squad, don't we, for the remaining Just gives games. us depth, you know, we, we've got um, obviously Josh Barrett, you know, he's still not moving right and he's, he's probably going to be a couple of weeks at least yet. Um, Jordan a little bit of not, but he should be fine, you know, he'll probably be fine by Tuesday night hopefully. Um, you know, and Heafy out, so we, we are going to need the whole of the squad um, and, and there'll be times when some of them are not involved because everyone's fit but that's the nature of the beast now, we're really into the business end of the season we've got to make sure that we do the right things at the right time and that's down to me and Heafy and Laurel to get things right and if we can do that and keep ourselves amongst it we've still got a phenomenal chance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, moving on to Tuesday night now we have a League Cup mm -hmm. fixture away at Grimsby Borough um, what are your thoughts on that come back to obviously with Cleethorpes coming up next Saturday? Well, we, 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 we've got to go and build momentum. Um, so my thoughts are that we will take the squad. We might, you know, because of injuries and, and game time and that, we might be at, maybe rest one or two players. But we, we'll take the squad. I think that's really, really important. Momentum is so difficult to control at any level in any sport, whether you're playing, managing, you know. It, and I think it's important that we, we maintain momentum. So Tuesday night I give a little bit, bit of a break for the league. Um, the, the cup now. You know, you get through this one, you know, what finals all of a sudden it starts getting interesting. Um, and I always say that about the League Cup and the, 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 the County Cups is that the first few rounds they sort of get in the way and they get in the way of what you're doing. But now, you know, when you're a little bit closer, uh, I think it's important for us as a club that we maintain our interest in it. So I'm, I'm sure, you know, it's a long way to go. It's going to be difficult to get people out of work, to get them across on time. but. We're going to go and give it a good goal for definite. Well done tonight, Billy. Thanks See you on Tuesday night. Cheers, Jack.